What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all well, healthy, safe, your families are well. Now here in Monaco, we've got um, just a kind of lockdown hour from 8 p.m. onwards, but during the day we can actually go out, which I'm happy about. Obviously you have to wear your mask, but I'm happy about it because it means I can still bring you guys videos as much as possible. And today we are filming a video with this beautiful 488 spider, piece of spider, sorry. This one is actually so, so cool. It's for sale here with Stars Monte Carlo and it's only got about 20 or 30 kilometers on it. It is brand spanking new. And we're gonna be basically the first people ever to drive this car. Now, therefore it's gonna be a really short drive. And because France is on lockdown, but not Monaco, we can't actually drive out of Monaco. So short drive over to the port over there to then show you around the car and talk about it whilst we're there. I'm happy I'm still gonna be able to get to drive the car a little bit. So I wish we could do something longer, but I figured this is better than bringing you no content during lockdown. At least we can bring you a short little drive video in 8488 Pista. So guys, extremely short little stint over to be able to film this car for you. We're actually annoyingly driving it through a puddle. Yeah. So the car's getting dirty, but it feels so new, so modern compared to my Scuderia. It's crazy the, the evolution of these cars. Uh, over the years because it really does feel just on a different planet in terms of like the suspension is so much more subtle than on my car my car's like riding a skateboard <laughs> this car is so much more subtle the steering is so much lighter but still pretty communicative i mean we're driving in a couple of minutes it's very large very wide yeah it's well they did a great job uh fantastic car yeah um turbocharged so a little bit muffled the sound but still yeah. a beautiful v8 from a ferrari v8 which is always a symphony and um, and then this spec uh, you know already to to find a spider uh pista yeah. spider is not easy and then in this spec carbon fiber everywhere, everywhere. when the valve opens it sounds pretty good i mean from the outside you can't really hear um, too much of the noise but when you're in it it sounds pretty good and it's got that ferrari tone to it yeah still. absolutely absolutely well i think one of the best parts of all ferraris in in this in this segment but also in the 812 segment uh, or even more in the 812 segment is the sound of the engine yeah. is just extraordinary the 812 is crazy and actually we have one right behind us an 812 gts which we are going to be filming our next video on so stay tuned for that one. We'll actually show it to you now briefly because we're doing two birds, one stone. Oh, you got things like reversing camera. I may sound like so someone coming from the old ages, <laughs> but it's so cool on these cars to now have all of this new new technology and these two screens in front of you. No, it's very nice. The interior hasn't changed much compared to the 458 though, has it? Uh, yeah, a few things here and there and then, well, like we said before, this one has like the carbon Every fiber option. everywhere, so that's really nice to see. And then I love this Alcantara finish uh, on the yeah. On the, the Alcantara dash. is pretty, pretty beautiful. Yeah, one of the things they did with the interior is it's got Apple CarPlay now. All right. Well, short little drive, but and enough to kind of get a feel for it. Now we're going to give you a proper walk around this car and tell you what it's all about, why they're rare, and why. They are so expensive and this one is so expensive okay so we are now look at the shadow hello <laughs> we are now with the car here look how beautiful that is we've got the 812 over there which we'll be filming for the next video now i apologize if there's any people kind of coming by and any noise around we're trying no problem there you go we're trying to <laughs> to do our best to get you a video despite the the conditions and the lockdown but uh, this car is quite something i mean look at that now that it's in the sun that spec is just absolutely gorgeous this it's quite simple but it just really really works now let's do a full full walk around now this has every single carbon fiber option basically so we've got the different the, the front splitter which is in different parts so you got right here um, and then another little carbon part there and then around the air inlet here the, the radiators that come in there now the stripes the red stripes are painted those aren't stickers they're a uh, factory option factory paint a uh, beautiful black paint color 
Um, and yeah, it's got obviously the pista, the easiest way to tell the pista apart from a traditional 488 is this um, really kind of funky but cool front splitter, uh, front wing basically. So effectively it works like a rear wing, sucking the front end of the car down to get more traction on those front wheels. So the air comes in here and then gets pulled up through here and then this will serve as the part that pushes the car down. So very, very smart design. Uh, when it first came out, people weren't too sure about it, but now that you're used to it, it's really cool. And the way they've used it to integrate the design or the stripes is a really, really nice touch. Now, this one has the Pista Spider rims. So slightly different to what you'd get on the coupe. These are finished in matte black. So that's always good to have when you've got gloss paint to have matte rims. Uh, they kind of complement each other quite nicely that way red canopers standard of course carbon ceramic brakes um, but it's got for example this is another option the uh, carbon fiber covers here it looks really really cool it's got the ferrari shields that is another option as you go through you start to realize how many options this has got this is over five hundred thousand euros this car so half a million euros so yeah for the mid-engine v8 ferrari that is a lot of money we're on Pilot Sport Cup 2 Michelins uh, on this. Now, as we said, the car is brand new. So obviously, I mean, look at the state of those tires. They are brand new. Um, the stripe then goes down on the side here, which is a nice touch. Kind of means that when you're on the side profile, where usually you wouldn't be able to see the red accents, you actually see them a little bit. So it, looks, it makes the side profile look really nice. We've then got, obviously, the carbon fiber side skirts as well. Carbon fiber inlets here. Now, uh, these, you know, well, all 488s have them. They're slightly different on the Pista, more aggressive. On the 488, you have kind of a division here. And the reason they've had to put these, a bit like on the Porsche turbos, is because they need more air coming in to cool down the turbos. This is a twin turbocharged V8. Um, so more air coming in. And so that's why they've opened them up a little bit more compared to the GTB to get even more air to come in and fuel that pretty massive engine. Then we've obviously got those same rims round back and those massive rear brake calipers inspired by what we had on the LaFerrari. Really, really cool looking. We then got that stripe which comes back here. Now on this one, it ends right here before the rear wing, the integrated rear wing. And a lot of them, and what we saw on the 458 Speciali Aperta, um, was the stripe actually coming back and enveloping the whole rear wing. Now this car is not strictly limited but it is very rare and they've started deliveries not too, too long ago. So there's still not that many on the road, but not like the 488, especially Ali Aperta. It isn't limited to a certain number. Now, it's also got in this one carbon fiber under in the engine bay, which is an option which you hardly ever see. Not many have, but this one has. It's got more carbon here. And so when I say integrated rear wing, you can kind of see it when you come down there and right here, how it's completely open so the air can travel through and have that same effect as what we talked about in the front, where it's pushing the rear down to get more traction on those rear tires. Now, loads of other little things like that, like for example, these openings here, that is to get the turbulent air out of the wheel arches. So you obviously, with the wheels turning like that, you get a lot of turbulent air there and you just want to evacuate that out of the back. It's also got a monster rear diffuser so full carbon fiber on this one as well um, which looks really cool but it just fuels shuffles the air out and it's got little flaps as well which help kind of regulate the airflow coming through there but it's massive and it continues all the way to the extremity of the car there black exhaust tips that is another option on this car um, and then that is the reversing light very f1 inspired and they've integrated the parking sensors into the diffuser here which they don't often do on these carbon diffusers but it looks very very cool now you don't want to reverse into a post or anything with this because that is one big piece of very expensive carbon fiber um, but it looks awesome dual exhaust like you've got on all 488s um, sounds pretty nice again not um, a speciality or anything but sounds much better when you're in the car actually than when you see one from the outside more carbon fiber right here. I don't know if you had noticed that coming all the way down the car. And then slightly tinted rear lights as well. That's the exterior spec of this one. 
let's get into the interior. So these new door handles, which uh, actually serve as um, an aerodynamic piece as well, shuffling the air up into those air vents that we spoke about earlier. They were actually quite controversial when the car first came out. People were talking a lot about how the design of these then fit flush with the cars like they used to have on Ferraris. Um, but yeah, so when we look at the inside of this one, it is just a sea of Alcantara and carbon fiber. So we've got full carbon fiber on the doors and then we've got also those red accents coming out. And sorry for all the glare there is, this winter sun is really, really low. So it makes it a little bit tricky to not get any uh, kind of glare in the camera. But here we are. So yeah, full carbon. This is your door handle here to get out. N actual like little uh, Alcantara kind of straps there to close the door, to hang on to when you're closing the door. Full Alcantara around top, really, really nice. Um, and then you've got your electric wing mirror um, controls. Carbon fiber as well on the door plates, I believe you call them here, step plates. I mean, basically it's just carbon everywhere. Look at this, all the way down here. Sports seats obviously come as standard with the pistas. Um, very nice carbon back so you pull right here to bring those forward carbon back sports seats and they are actually surprisingly comfortable a lot of carbon backed buckets like this are really not very nice to sit on but the design of these i think they've nailed it first came in this design with the 599 gto and the 430 scuderia um, and they've kept it ever since because it's such a good design they really nailed it so really really cool uh, looking and very comfortable actually decent for long distance as well now this one's got all sorts of little design intricacies to it so it's alcantara around the extremities with red stitching and then it's this kind of slightly funky material which you'd find on like your sport shoes or something um quite nice actually uh, and makes is very light as well and then it's got this leather stripe all the way down the middle which is also an option and the red cavallino they call it which is stitching into the top headrest right there to complement the spec of the car now let's hop in we'll be able to give you a better look once we're in the car now no carpets in this it is just straight onto the these aluminium kind of plates um which look quite cool they actually get dirty quite easily though um but i guess better than having alcantara down there alcantara is pretty much everywhere else though just trying to get rid of this sun glare there we go um so we got alcantara all the way across the dash Obviously, Ford 8 piece, the spider writing there. Uh, no screen. Some of the modern Ferraris will have a little passenger display screen here. That is not the case on this one. You got a little bit of storage behind the driver and passenger seats with those um, little nets right there. This is often used to put like papers of the car or yeah, like map or whatever that you're using on a long, long distance trip. Um, look, we've got, for example, some of the papers of the car right there. As you come down, little storage cabin um not much and you can't close it so it's divided into two little segments but this is good to put your phone it's sized perfectly for an iphone and it's got a usb charger there and a cigarette port that you can use to charge something else if need be um so kind of convenient it's not a particularly practical car it doesn't even have a glove box there's nothing you can open here um so it's just straight onto the leather there more um, carbon fiber all the way down now here you have your window controls and then your roof control which we'll do in a little bit and then this is actually for your rear glass so you can move that up and down independently of the roof so if you want um, for example to have the roof up and have that down to be able to hear the noise you can do so so that's very cool hazards and then this sculpture here for all of your gearbox controls so reverse auto so when you start the car it's automatically in automatic so you need to click this to put it into manual and then launch control which because this car has a really advanced seven speed double clutch you can do launch control pretty much as many times as you like and it's not going to ruin the gearbox too much then we've got the cup holders here one has actually been replaced with um, a key holder uh, in this car if i get the key out so the key's all covered up because the car's brand new so that it doesn't get ruined but see the key just slots in right there so you can use that to hold your key um and then a cup holder so yep very cool actually we'll leave that there then you move up to this aircon system which is basically exactly the same as what we've had on um well since the 458 came out 
so they haven't changed much there um, works pretty well I mean you have your individual uh, temperatures right there auto buttons where you want the air coming out AC mono your heaters and then the fan speed so it's pretty straightforward nothing too fancy going on here so the sun the sun glare is actually too bad I'm gonna turn the car around Right here, there we go. So you'll be able to see more easily. Right, let's put the handbrake on there. There you go. All right, so we've got these two screens. Right screen controlled through here. Now what do we have on this one? We've got pretty much every, it's like your traditional um, kind of dashboard. So we've got our radio, media, navigation, phone, and just general setup settings. Now the screen isn't the best quality in the world, but you know, it'll do just fine. You're realistically not getting this too much for the technology that's in it. Um, it well, as far as this is concerned. But uh, yeah, it looks really, really pretty clean when you're driving. You can see pretty clearly what's going on on these screens. This is also where you control the radio. Sound system, again, is sufficient. It's nothing you'd write home about. Um, and then on this side, you have everything that's kind of more technical towards the car. So yeah, you can see, uh, so you go through it like this. This is actually not a spinny wheel. This you click that way around. Um, and you can get, yeah, your turbo information, um, different things, you know, you can get your vehicle dynamics. So if you're changing on the Manatino here, if you look at that screen, that's gonna change as well. Boom, sport mode, wet mode. So it kind of all gets controlled through that. And then this button, pit, is actually for your uh, cruise control. So they call it a pit speed limiter, um, which is kind of a nice touch actually, I find. And then you got your automatic lights right there. And as we saw just before, your parking um, handbrake. Now on the steering wheel, so you've got that start stop button right there. But then you've also got pretty much everything else from your indicators to your lights. So if you're, for example, you just want to flash someone to tell them to come by, you can click that right there. You've got your windscreen wipers, and this, which is bumpy road mode, which will loosen up or tighten up, depending on how you want it, the suspension. And then the horns on all Ferraris now are actually with where your thumb is right there. And then a little gear shifter light setup on the top of the steering wheel, which is finished in leather and carbon fiber. But yeah, that is pretty much it. So let's hop on out. That is this 488 Pista Spider which is an awesome spec. Available with Johnny, who's cruising around right there. Um, available in the dealership now for sale here in Monaco. So I'll put the links down below if, uh, if anyone by any chance happens to be interested. There's a stunning looking car in general, but this one with this spec is just the cherry on the cake. So um, yeah, no, really, really nice. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And I'll catch up with you again very, very soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.